Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Anyway, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, look what has arrived. 1970 Pro Touring Mustang, dressed up like a Shelby GT350 as well. And let me tell you something, man. Stack of receipts like this, and it is spectacular. Not only does it look good, it drives just as well. Somebody spent a lot of time matching up the drivetrain with this car. And the cool thing about it is, like, this is a pretty much full custom car. But if you wanted to make a couple small subtle changes to it, we could do that for you and kind of make it your own if you like it. If you like it just the way it is, then we'll leave it just the way it is and either way you can't lose. So for instance, a couple of small changes you could make could be, let's say you don't like side exit exhaust. I think it sounds great, you may not like it. We could run it right out the back. We could even do the Shelby GT350 uh, tailpipe that goes there where it has the twin exits underneath the, the bumper, right? Couple little things, whatever. Want a billet steering wheel instead of a stock looking rim blow steering wheel, we can do that too. So that's the cool thing about here is like we can make those adjustments and then by the time it gets to you, you don't have to do a single thing. All right, so we talked about the full uh, folder of receipts. Let's talk about the spectacular paint because in those receipts is a lot of money spent on the underneath and the top of the car. And the reason I talk about the underneath of the car a lot is because that's why cars drive well because the underneath somebody has spent some time doing the right things to make that happen. And then we move to the top and the top is fabulous. So some of the detail stuff that I love is like when somebody does uh, stripes or a two-tone and things like that, do they clear over it? Is it wet sanded and polished? And this is exactly how that is. You can't even feel uh, the stripe here because they spent the time doing this properly. But I would like to show you this because the quality of the paint is so fabulous. You can read every single word nice and clear and make sure if you're out there looking at other cars, which I'd find it hard to believe, that you would be out there looking at other cars. But let's just say by accident, you clicked on someone else's website and got lost and needed to find your way back to me. Uh, you would ask them the same thing. Show me the quality of the paint because photos can make cars look great. Angie, who is probably the best photographer on the free planet, right? Makes our cars look fabulous. And uh, the video is this, which is not so good, but this is much better. Uh, and this will show us everything you need. I wanted to talk about the underneath of this car. First off, check out the pictures of this and the detail. You can actually see it in the reflection on the floor here is how beautiful this is. It's even waxed underneath. And there's a couple cool colors added into the matching underneath of the car to make it look even more high-end and pro-touring. I just want to point out, look at the wheel well of this car. You go to a car show or something, man, turn the wheels and let everybody see, first off, those great looking uh, all chrome replicas, these big giant uh, SSBC calipers that are hanging out inside here and how beautifully detailed and waxed inside the fender it is all new brake lines you can see all the bolts and clamps new wiring everything in this car is like brand new all right all right so listen sorry I just want to show you a little some this little teaser but what I want to get at is this man when you're driving a car how it drives starts at the bottom right suspension brakes like all that good stuff that goes on there but then you need some motivation because the big brakes and the big suspension are really not gonna help unless you got this going on here and whoa, lo and behold. This, 351 aluminum heads, right? Dressed up and the internals are really nice inside and dressed up outside uh, if you decide you want to go to a show. Fin valve covers are there. This is all painted inside here. Billet hinges for the hood. You say, but Tom, why are, you talking, why are you dwelling on hinges for the hood? Well, the reason I say that is because all the little things, like the billet overflow tank, the special power steering unit that's on the car here, uh, aluminum heads, the giant radiator module here to help keep it nice and cool when you're driving. Maybe you want to go to the beach and you got everybody in the car and you don't want the car to overheat. This beautifully constructed hood under here, all of that stuff. All of that stuff, look at the receipts that are here, all that stuff just continues to add up and add up and that's how you get to 100 grand building a car and can take two to three years. That's why this is the way to buy one because not only do you save some money, you save some time. You could potentially be driving this car next uh, weekend. So listen, when we talk about the expense of the car and building those kinds of things, putting the Shelby package on is a, is a very expensive proposition. It's in between 20, 10 and $12,000 just for that. So you get so many features and a lot of things that people see when they see a car, they go, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. For instance, in the Shelby package, it came with different uh, fender extensions here. It had a, a spoiler molded into the trunk lid. 
the roll bar there, the roll bar alone. A lot of people will do these cars and they don't finish it up with the roll bar. The roll bar because it's a couple thousand bucks. A couple thousand bucks plus the installation. You can see how these can quickly escalate. The taillights, taillights are completely different on a Shelby than they are on uh, a regular Mustang. And like we talked about the exhaust on the side, if you wanted, we can do the uh, exhaust that would come up there, then the tag bracket would move up here. All right, those are little tiny things you can do. The Shelby callouts on the back are great looking. And then I just wanted to show you in here, custom built carpet for the interior. Everything's painted, detailed, all underneath. Everything's not one black color, you know, like spray bombed black. It's all done and somebody spent time even in the trunk. So you know this is a great car. All right, so come on in here because this is where you're going to spend most of your time, right? And this right here is another place where a lot of money is spent. So a lot of times people uh, take some shortcuts here. I really feel like they did, did some really nice stuff. First off, you got a five-speed. The reason the five-speed is so important is let's say you want to go cruise to the beach in this car. Let's say you want to go to the mountains in this car. This is the kind of car that you do that in. And you're clicking through the shifter and you're rolling on down the road. This has a digital dash here. It's a 200 mile an hour speedometer built in and an 8,000 RPM tack. Uh, fuel gauge, volt gauge, oil pressure, water temperature, things like that. It does have the original stock AM FM radio in here, right? And if you like, inside here we can put a digital sound system for you, right? We do this for lots of people there. That's like one of the biggest requests we have. And so it kind of keeps this a little bit old school looking, or we can go full digital right here and put that right in there. And that way it updates the interior to a modern interior. Big high back buckets with uh, the Shelby logo sewn into the seats. All the dash is new, the carpet's new, the console is new, the visors, the, uh, the kick panels in the floor and the back here, the rear seat, all that stuff is new. So. Uh, it matches everything that goes along with the car, like you're getting a brand new pro touring car with just a few hundred miles on it. Uh, and those are kind of shakedown miles, all right? So anyway, uh, I thought you should see it. Uh, it's a cool feature. Also, too, the last thing I wanted to talk about was this, uh, uh, the steering wheel. And if you wanted to go to like a billet style steering wheel that was just still looks old school a little bit, but it's billet and modernized, we can do that as well. All right, so we're going to close up the video, man. Let's run down a few things first off. Incredible paint and body, underneath top, everything. Full suspension, big brakes, rack and pinion steering, right? Uh, the full Shelby uh, body kit on the car, five speed. I mean, this is a fabulous car. It sounds good, runs good, drives down the road, super fast, way faster than stock. I'm just thinking about being able to drive a car next weekend. Most people have no opportunity to ever do that. It could be two, three years before you get your car restored and before you can even start to wheel it. And here's a chance for you to do this right now. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Bad A 70 Shelby GT350 convertible. Tell me one more time why we never win. Well, number one. Number one. There's Mustang. Mustang. Miss, do you have a car for me? Sir, why, we have 18 models to choose from. Uh, number one, there's Mustang. I'll take and it. Number, number one, there's Mustang. America's number one sporty car. Mach 1. Shaker up front. Spoiler in the back. 428 powerhouse in between. Mustang. Number one for 1970. Racket, honey. What have you missed the most since you've been away? Well, number one, my Mustang. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to ask you a few... Uh, careful, sir. Uh, people have said that you're too... Eh? People say you're too old to be re-elected. We'd like to know what you've done to change your image. Well, number one, my Mustang. Sabrina, tell me all the things that you like about me. Well, number one, there's your Mustang. Number two. Number one, there's Mustang, America's number one sporty car. Mustang sport through for 1970. Rear deck spoiler, recessed taillights and an all-new sporty front end. For 1970, number one, there's Mustang. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Number one, there's Mustang. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing.